Hello and welcome back. It is great to see you here. So we are starting the Dark Tower today, which I am really excited about. Still carrying my rose. I'm so excited after wooing Glimmerwing that we are going to go ahead into the Dark Tower like this. Now let's head on over. As we're heading over, take a, just a couple seconds and go ahead and make sure that you are subscribed and that you are liking so that you are aware of when new videos are coming out. All right, so here for the Dark Tower, it says the Dark Tower is home to Mira, who has a challenge for wizards like you. Climb to the top and earn a powerful prize. Do you want to travel here? Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and begin and see what happens here. So here is Mira. Let's go ahead and talk to her. Looks awesome. All right, let's head back right over here and then click on her one more Hello. time. Hello. Hello there, young one. Welcome to the Dark Tower. The name's Mira. And this tower was once the home to a powerful wizard who built it to test the power of other wizards. That's awesome. It is said that whoever can conquer every floor and make it to the top is a true wizard. Well, let's see if we are, guys. <laughs> but there is a catch. The battles here are harder. And once you leave the tower, you must start over. Huh. However, if you defeat the opponents on every fifth floor, you can return to that floor if you leave. All right, so we have to make it up five floors. <laughs> do you want to start climbing the tower from floor one? You know we do, Mira. You know we do. Okay, let's go ahead and start and see how hard these battles are. All right, so you can see the screen. Here, as far as the buttons we can choose down here are a little bit lower. Let's go ahead and come on over here and chance wheel time. All right, let's see what sort of perk or curse we're going to get for this battle. Switching is disabled, so I am not able to switch to my other pets. All right, so this is not a boon. Uh, it is a curse. So here we have a Funkio, and it is 900, so Falling Star Smash, let's see. We're still working through the end of the fourth grade content, so the next couple of videos, although we're season five, we'll probably still have a little bit of fourth grade in them. So Richie collects erasers and has 212 in his collection. Every week he gives away 10 erasers. How long until he has only 160 erasers in his collection? So the, the uh, 210 is getting subtracted by 10 each week. And then we're going to get to 160. So all we, have to, all we have to do is subtract 210 from 160. Now that's going to have 50. So 50 would be the difference. If he gives 10 away, 50 divided by 10 would be 5 weeks. And so that is going to be our answer. And let's see if that is enough to go ahead and hit this Funkeel. Yes, 4678. So this Funkeel is level 5. So as we climb up, I believe we're going to get more and more difficulty as we're going in. So eventually I'll have to go ahead and change my outfit. But right now I am still so impressed that I was able to woo Glitterwing that I do want to keep on up at being the romantic and uh, carry the rose around there. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up. Looks like we've got some 100 gold coins from the fun keel. And let's see if the prizes um, increase with the difficulty. We're gonna shoot for level five. Chance wheel time, let's see what happens here. All right, it's spinning around and it looks like lack of hearts lose 10 percent hearts fantastic wonderful so my luck is really going to come into uh play here so this squibble is still level five let's do falling star smash so maybe all of the characters are level five until we get to level five then at level six they'll be 10. uh stefan has 450 marbles every week he buys 100 more marbles Will he have 850 marbles after four weeks? Okay, so 850 minus 450 is 400. So if he buys 100 every week, four weeks later, it would take him four weeks to get 400. So yes, he will have 850 marbles 
after four weeks. All right, let's cast this spell. I'm going to be talking my way through some of the works, just some of the uh, questions, some of the word problems, just so you can hear my thoughts and how they go. Um, and as we make our way through here. So if there is anything you would like me to cover in more detail, just put it in the, in the comments below and I will definitely make a video about working through all of that. Okay, so let's open this up and it looks like another 100 gold. It looks like about 100 gold popping out of there. Awesome, awesome. All right, let's head on up. That was floor number two, which we were able to make it through. This is floor number three. Fingers crossed, chance wheel time, or should I say cursed wheel time. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. Come on, no whammies, no whammies. And yes, all right. Lose 10% hearts, way to go. Thank you, crazy dragon spinner guy. All right, let's go ahead and get this going with our wizard battle here. Now we have a Benil. And so let's go ahead and, you know, let's do a mythical attack. Let's go ahead and roast this guy. All right, so we are with our coins now. How you spent the amount of money below on one orange. How much would it cost for six oranges? All right, so first we're going to count up our coins and then we're going to multiply. So we have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Three nickels, four pennies equals 19. And so 19 cents times six. All right, nine times six is going to be 54. So A is the right answer. The ones place, these have fives in them, so that would not be right. $7.75 is just crazy, so that does not make any sense at all. It would be between 125 and 114 would be the answer. I could go and uh, work it on out, though. That is 54, but I know that that's the right answer because the other ones place doesn't make sense. Six plus five and that would be 114 there you go so but automatically know that there is only one right right answer and it's there because of the one place i do not have to look any further than that all right goodbye benil so we were weak but still it ended up in a roasted benil all right we won Woohoo! this is fun I am enjoying this. Let me know how far you are in the Dark Tower here. Five more stars. Let's open up this chest. And we got some copper coins there, which is awesome. Hopefully some more stuff will be added to the copper coin shop. All right, let's head on up. Now this is floor number four. All right, chance wheel time here. Curse wheel time. What are you going to curse me with this time? And is that no spell damage reduced? Fantastic. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Way to go. All right. So we have a squabble here, level five again. And let's go ahead and do just a falling star smash here. How much is this pattern growing or shrinking by? Okay. So it's from 342 to 347. It is an increase of five. So it's not going to be shrinking. I'll just cross out the shrinking and cross out the shrinking. It's a growing pattern. And so this is also five. This is five. That's five. So it's, it's, it's jumping up by five. Uh, tens, if it was jumping up by tens, the ones place would be the same. In a pattern that goes up by five, the ones place is the same every other number. And then so the sevens, sevens, seven, sevens, twos, twos 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 all right growing by five each time and goodbye squabble yes it was just enough to send squabble squabbling away these are really cool pets really cool monsters here that's awesome okay so <clears throat> pardon me 11 battle stars here it looks like solar should be getting to level 96 in our next round in our next video here as we climb up the tower got some more copper coins which is awesome and 200 gold coins so the gold value is going up pretty quickly here i don't know if it's going to continue to go up or not here is mira let's go ahead and talk to mira before we click on our five bubble you ready 
The next challenge awaits. I think we are ready. Oh, she is looking angry. She's looking fierce there. All right, let's see what happens with this you ready? one. Here's your first boss. There is one on every fifth floor. Let's see how well you do. Okay, let's go ahead and click next here. And here is Fathom, level 5, 900. And let's go ahead, you know, let's just do an all out. Uh, ah, let's do Supernova. Let's do Supernova. All right, so what pattern is shown on the hundreds chart? It starts on the pink blue square. So this is we start on four. All of these say start on four. And then we're skipping to the pinks. So we're not adding one, we're not multiplying, we're adding two. So four, six, eight, nine. Four plus two is six. Six plus two is eight. Eight plus two is 10. And so that is gonna be the pattern that we're going through as we do this. All right, let's see, is this gonna be enough? Can we pull this off? Let's see what happens here. Okay, it lands and do we, do we, do we? Yes, awesome, we have beats level five. Woohoo! yes, awesome. So we have beat the challenge of level five. We gained 21 battle stars there. Is solar, solar's not coming up. No, no, is, are you solar? No, 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 okay. So next video, definitely solar, will be hitting level 96. That is awesome. Come back to check this out as we head on up. Let's talk to Mira one more time. You ready? The next challenge awaits. We are ready. Let's head on up. And once we get to the next floor, we'll go ahead and check out who is here. Actually, we will check that out next video. So really excited to be here. This is super fun. Um, we'll be climbing up every five flights uh, a video. So uh, come on back and we'll jump from six to ten. OK, uh, be sure to like, be sure to su subscribe. It is so helpful to me. It is also very helpful to you. So you know when new videos are coming out. Uh, I will see you next time. Keep on prodding on and have a good one. Take care. Bye bye.